Hi, you guys. Happy October and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey girl, my name is Kiki and I do tutorials. <laughs> but no, we're going to get into this very much fall, autumn, October Halloween glam look. I did use my palette for this look. So if you have your palette, recreate this look and tag me all right we're gonna get right into the look we're starting off with a fresh face of course and i'm setting well i guess prepping her brows with setting powder i'm just lightly applying some powder to her eyebrows i do have some um shields underneath her eyes these are from shop miss a and they will be tagged down below um i'm just going in with the nyx brow pencil in the shade espresso and I'm just going to fill her brows in. I'm going to follow her natural shape. Nothing crazy, nothing special at all. So now I'm going to take... Uh, this concealer brush from Shop Miss A and I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm using the shade Beep and I'm going to use that to conceal her eyebrows. I'm going to take whatever is left on my brush, so I'm not adding any extra product onto my brush, and I'm going to use that to conceal the top of her eyebrow. And this is the same color. If you need to pick up some more product, go ahead and do so, but I like to always start off with whatever is left on my brush. And I'm going to go in to a little bit of a darker concealer. This is Toffee. Um, born this way, Too Faced, couldn't find it, had to search my mind. Too Faced Toffee, I'm going to use that in the front of her brow just so that um, it looks more flesh tone in the beginning of her brow highlight and then we get a little bit brighter in her brow bone. But for the most part, this brow is not like a dramatic highlight. Um, and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the left eyebrow. Now I'm just going to take this eyebrow pencil from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to take a little bit of a dark brown eyeshadow to just fill in whatever areas might be sparse or just areas that I want to be filled in a little bit more. I tend to try to uh, keep this only in the middle and back of the eyebrow so the, lighter, the front of the eyebrow could look lighter. And I'm just making sure that I'm bringing that concealer on her nose and I'm just blending out the lines so that we don't have any harsh lines or anything like that before we apply our eyeshadow base. Brows are complete. Now we're going to go in to base her eyes. I'm just going in with this old flat concealer brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm just um, stamping in my eyeshadow primer and this is... To be honest, I don't know if it's the Helen E or the P. Louise because I started going back to the P. Louise base, but most likely this is Helen E. And I'm just 
tapping that in, blending it in, and I'm bringing it up to meet the concealer, but I'm not bringing it all the way up. And then I'm just going to take my concealer, uh, the brush that I use to blend my concealer out, I'm just going to take that and blend out the edges. I'm going in with my first eyeshadow brush from Top Tier Beauty, and this is just a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm going into my palette, and I'm using the shade Lecture. Um... If you didn't know, I have my own cosmetics line. I have my very own eyeshadow palette, the Varsity palette. Um, and I'm dipping into the shade of Lecture, which is like the perfect brown. Like, uh, you see, this brown is dug into in my palette. But yeah, I'm just going to take this brown into her crease, a little bit above her crease, and just blend it out. Now I'm going in with um, another brush from the same eyeshadow set, Top Tier Beauty. And this is more of a flat packing brush. And I'm going to go in to my second shade. And I'm just going to place that directly on top of where we put the brown. Just a little bit lower so that we still get a little bit of that brown. Um, but yeah, we're just going to blend those two colors together. This type of cut crease, there's not much emphasis on the eyeshadows on the crease. Um, it's going to look like a very soft wash of color, but just enough. Uh, the actual cut crease itself is where you want to have the most impact and where you want to have like a high contrast of color. Um, so you'll see more so what I'm talking about as we continue on with the eyeshadow. We're going to be using the P. Louise um, blank canvas space and the P. Louise, I think it's called like Vibrance. It's an orange color, but I just mixed those two together to get me just like an orange shade. It, it gave me like a peach like a neon peach color or like a neon coral color, which is perfectly fine. I just need the, the base to be in the same color family as my eyeshadow. Um, and I'm going to start to cut her crease, y'all. So when I cut the crease, I do like to tap along. Sometimes I will drag, but for the most part, I do uh, just tap the product on the eye if you guys want an updated detailed video on how to cut the crease precisely i will do that for you you just have to let me know in the comments down below because of the look i was going for i know that i wanted to um i already knew rather that i wanted to cut my crease uh to be like really high and dramatic and just like really round in shape like I wanted like a really strong round shape so I was just working to get those two as even as possible um sometimes you can't get your eyes to look 100% identical but if they're very very close at the end you really won't be able to tell so the eye on the left is a little bit different than the eye on the right but I got them to be as close as possible and in the end you cannot tell okay so yeah, once I have my base down, I'm just tapping off the extra product. The lighting will continue to shift in this video and I'm so sorry about that, um, but yeah. This is me just trying to get them as even as possible. And really, it's that like, oh yeah, there it is right there. That area right there that I just couldn't get to be like 100% the same. But I knew that if I would have kept touching it, I would have just went too far and messed up. So I just left it as is. This is what it looks like so far. I'm going to go back in with a packer brush. From Top Tier Beauty, Beauty is perfect for uh, lid applications of your eyeshadow. I'm going to go into Schoolboy, which is this neon tangerine orange. And we're just going to pack that onto the lid. You don't have to press too hard with this. And you never want to press too hard with your shadows. Working with your matte eyeshadows because you don't want your eyeshadows to get um, like cakey and crumbly. Or you don't want them to crack or anything like that. And I'm just going to tap it on directly onto the base. And as you can see, the color of the eyeshadow and the color of the base are completely different. But since they're in the same color family, it doesn't really matter. I prefer this rather than uh, using a white or beige base because it's just easier to cover. And you don't have to worry about that little uh, 
at the very top of your crease, like that little white piece that pokes out through your shadow. You don't have to worry about that. I think it just it's just better if you're going to be doing... It, it depends on the color, but if you're going to be doing like a vibrant color, it's just easier to work your base to be that in that color story. Now I'm going back in with the same brush that we used to define the crease a bit with that same eyeshadow um, in the outer corner. And I'm just going to just lightly bring it into the orange, just lightly. And I'm using the shade PTA. I'm gonna take uh, my glitter adhesive and I'm gonna apply a very thin layer um, on the lid. We're gonna go all over the orange and just a little bit into the inner, um, the outer crease area, Should, just so that the glitter is kind of like blending into the outer crease. We don't want the glitter to just like abruptly stop. I'm going in with uh, Globe Academy's glitter in the shade Twitches which is a very, very, very micro-fine, um, opaque glitter. It's orange with gold reflex. And if you have this glitter, I definitely uh, recommend, or if you're thinking about getting this glitter, it's best to always use this glitter on top of um, something that's orange on its own. I know some people, they'll go in with just a beige base and add their glitter on top. You can't do that with every glitter, so you wouldn't be able to do that with this one. You would want to use something um, in the same color story to get the most impactful look. So I'm just taking my glitter applicator from Globe Academy and I'm using that to easily stamp the glitter on. And once I have my glitter on, I'm just going back in with that eyeshadow and just kind of blending it into the glitter so we get a nice gradient effect and everything is just nice, smooth, and transitions. I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other eye. I'm just going to take the spoolie end of my eyebrow pencil and just comb out whatever glitter got caught in her lash extensions. And because this glitter was super, super fine, I decided to go in with the um, shadow shields because I just knew it was going to be a pain to try to get all the glitter off of her face. So that's why I decided to use the shadow shields for this look. It was my first time using them from Shop Miss A and I really did like them. So because these shadow shields are so sticky, I actually use them as tape to uh, just take off whatever extra glitter was on her face. So it was a two-in-one, you guys. Super easy to remove the glitter with those as well. So I'm going to go in with my primer. I'm using the Base Tape Primer by Tired. Started using this primer over the summer on myself. And I decided I have to add this to my kit because it is chef's kiss. This primer, y'all, is so damn good like i have to do a sit down video of the new products that i put in my kit this year 
I just have to do a sit down because this primer, it needs a moment. Like we have to talk about her, but I'm just using a foundation brush to apply the primer into her skin. And for me and my clients, it doubles as a moisturizer and a primer. Love it so much. Now we're going to start on her skin. So we're going back into the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Toffee, which is very close to her skin tone. And we're just going to apply that um, around the perimeter of her under eye. And I'm just using an e.l.f. concealer brush to apply this. Now we're going to go in with Chestnut. Directly underneath her eyes, on her forehead, and on the bridge of her nose. I'm going to mix up chestnut and toffee together, and I'm going to use that to apply it above her lip. We're going to go into our black opal foundation stick, and I'm using the shade. I think the darkest shade is called ebony, but I'm going to use that to contour. So we're uh, directly on dry skin. It's just her primer on her skin, no foundation. And we're going in with our contour shade on her cheeks and her forehead. For her foundation, we're going in with something that's going to be a little bit darker than her skin because one, she still has a tan, and two, I just wanted the foundation to be a little bit darker because I knew that the highlighted areas was going to be really highlighted. So I went and mixed New Caledonia from NARS, and I put a little bit of NW58, which is a very red foundation. Um, I mixed those two together for the uh, outside of her face, and then all the spots in between, we just went in with Macau. And we're gonna blend all of these colors and it's gonna be flawless, okay? So we started with her contour area first. We're gonna blend out her contours. And this is just an, um, an Ulta foundation brush. I think it's the Ulta foundation, precision foundation brush if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just gonna use that to blend out the darkest areas um, on her face, which is the contour, so cheek and forehead. Then I'm going to go into this foundation brush from Shop Miss A, which reminds me a lot of the foundation uh, the foundation brush that I used to use in my belt brush when I worked at Sephora. So I'm just going to use this foundation brush to blend out the foundation on her skin. So anywhere in between the highlight um, and contour, we're going to use this brush to blend out. And this brush gave such an airbrushed finish on the skin. I loved it so much. I tried not to edit this down as much and speed it up because um, I wanted you to see just how long it took me to blend out that side of her face. It's just, this process is just so much quicker to me than doing your your foundation base first and doing your highlight and doing your contour. I just really fell in love with doing everything all at once. And I love the fact that we as artists can look at colors and put them on a face and just blend them out to be just like the perfect finish for you your model or your client like i just i love that for us so yeah um i'm just gonna continue blending and yeah i'm just gonna have you guys watch because i, I really don't have anything to say Right, so now we're going to go in with our smaller brush to blend out all of the highlighted areas on the skin. If you were paying attention, you noticed that I was being very careful not to uh, tap those highlighted areas with my foundation brush because I don't want my colors to get mixed and get muddy. I want every color to stay on every brush. I need everything separated, right? So I'm going to take my um, brush from Real Techniques. This is their setting brush, I believe, their under eye setting brush, whatever. So I'm going to start on the perimeter of my under eye highlight and just blend my way up using my brush. And just like, oh my God, like not to toot my own horn, but the blend is just crazy to me. Like 
Y'all see this? Y'all see her skin? Y'all, this is, it's not set. Like, this is what it's giving on a set. Like, stop playing. Stop it. Y'all have to try this technique and y'all have to try the primer. Like, y'all have to try the primer. So, I'm going in with, what am I going with? So, now I'm taking Born This Way in the shade Cookie. And I'm going to take that directly on my sponge and just keep that right underneath her eye. Like that little triangle, like right underneath her eye. We're going to keep it there to get just like a beautiful brightened look without her looking crazy, right? So I actually wanted to keep this um, mistake in so that if it happens to you, you don't freak out. So so I just took a cotton pad, wiped it off, and I went back in with my foundation brush. I didn't have to add any more product onto my foundation brush. And I just kind of just smoothed it out, blended it out, and then I went back in with the concealer in the shade toffee and voila it's back to normal i'm just gonna go back in with some pencil to replace what was wiped off and that's it you guys never fret when you make a mistake because it's, it's it's so easy to always fix it all right so now it's time to set i'm gonna go in with the same brush that we used to blend out her highlight and i'm gonna go in with a mix of sasha buttercup I use the Sasha Buttercup. I use the Huda Beauty Kunufa, I think it's called. I mix those two together and I'm using that to set underneath her eyes by just pressing the powder all the way in. So I'm going to take the same powder and just set around her mouth. Um, I also use the powder to set her chin, nose, and forehead as well. Now we're going to bronze her face. I'm going in with that brown out of the Zulu palette. You know, that's our favorite bronzer on this channel. And I'm going to take my favorite Morphe cheek brush. And I'm just going to stamp that onto her cheeks. Because remember, we have to set this area because her whole face is unset with powder. All right. So once we have that on, I believe I did add a little bit of blush. I'm sorry. I didn't get that on camera. And I did go a little bit heavy on blush. A bronzer and blush because I know that at the end it gets washed out and blended out anyway anyway you guys just watch me uh press that powder the remaining of the powder I press it to her skin I did not dust it away I just pressed it in and this is what she's looking like so far it's given I'm feeling it what do y'all think so far I like it I did add some lip liner onto her lips now I'm going in with my derma blend um translucent powder underneath her eyes just to give her a more highlighted look underneath that eye i just needed to be a little bit brighter because the eyes are just so bold and i also put some in between her eyebrows on her forehead now we're going to go into contour i'm using this brush from bh cosmetics i don't know if it's still on their website guys i don't know what bh cosmetics is doing but the last time i went on their website to like link the brushes i used they had a whole new family of brushes up there so i'm gonna check to see if i can link this brush down below but i'm sorry this is one of their highlighter uh, brushes from the studio brush collection but i i love to use it for contour as well as highlight it is a synthetic brush but it's just chef's kiss it's beautiful Hopefully, it's on the site so that I can tag it down below so that y'all can get it too. Her eye was getting watery because we put black liner in her waterline. Always um, tell your clients to sniff in real deep. Like, like when I mean sniff, I mean like really sniffle. Um, 
And then I always have my clients hold their breath while I'm putting um, product in their waterline because it just keeps the eye dry. I'm just taking a Q-tip to catch any um, tears that might be trying to fall out. And I'm just going to continue to smoke out her bottom line. And I'm using the one size um, black pencil for this. All right, once I have that done, I'm going to go in and press that powder in underneath her eyes as well. I took some of that uh, pencil directly onto my brush and I'm gonna just start working on smoking out that bottom lash line and really building up some um, drama on the bottom because there's so much on the top. And I just know that I wanted it to be dark as opposed to it being like, you know, orange or plum. I needed drama, you know? So we're getting it really dark. And then uh, once we have that liner smudged on there, we're gonna go in with Girl, what did I go on with? I believe I went into Champ in the palette, which is just a darker version of PTA. It's like a really, really, really deep plum color. I used that to smoke out her bottom lash line and I loved it. And when you're working with eyeshadows on the bottom lash line, you wanna make sure that you're tapping or patting or dabbing your eyeshadow in. You never wanna just go in and start dragging, going back and forth. Um, not only is that irritating for your client's eyes, especially if they have um, sensitive eyes because the shadow can like fly into the eye. Um, you're at risk for like creating fallout and like we don't want to mess up that perfect under eye we just created right so it's just always best to tap now i'm gonna go in the inner corner on the bottom i don't even think i mentioned it or maybe i didn't do it on camera but for her inner corner i added um a gold metallic shade which is also everything i use is obviously from the varsity palette but yeah I just wanted to add something gold so that it was still like in the color family of the orange. I didn't want much color contrast in the inner corner. So I'm just bringing that down to the bottom as well. And I think it gave a nice effect. So now we're gonna go into a lip gloss, you guys don't worry. Um, this lip gloss is not in my kit. This lip gloss will be um, coming to my site very, very soon. This is the lip gloss in the shade Class Act. It's literally a favorite amongst me and my clients. They be buying it, y'all. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how it applies with the applicator and how pigmented and glossy it is. But yeah, this is the finished look, you guys. Uh, I just love this look. Like, I love how it came out. And I did, of course, get some close-up footage for you guys on my cell phone so you guys can see what it's really giving because, you know, sometimes the camera washes out the eyeshadow, especially when we're using glitters. So this is the complete look, you guys. I was going to a Halloween party. This is probably how I would pull up because I'm not really into, like, quote-unquote Halloween makeup. I'm into Hall Halloween glam. So, like, Halloween-inspired colors, you know? But, like... You know, like Halloween, but make it glam. Don't put no blood and stuff on me. All right. But yeah, if you guys recreate this look, please tag me. I want to see you guys. Um, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for all of the love and support you guys give me. I appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. And make sure to shop my brand because we are having a sale, a $2 sale when the glitters and the palette is on sale as well. So make sure to grab you one. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.